Hello and welcome to the devotion for Thursday, March 7th, entitled, Who Touched Me? Now, you know, it's often interesting to me how many people that when I uh, talk to them, they feel like that their problem is too small to worry God with it. Like, God's really busy. I mean, he's got a lot of stuff going on. I mean, he's trying to manage the whole world. What does my little issue have to do with anything important? Why would he bother with me? Well, it's interesting. Scripture says that God knows everything about you. It says he doesn't even see a sparrow fall to the ground that he's unaware of that. And aren't we worth more than sparrows? It says he even knows the numbers of the hair on our head. And from the drain at my house, he has to do math every day to calculate that because some of it is disappearing. As we begin to look at how God loves us, there is nothing that is too small or too insignificant. But we feel that way, don't we? And there was a woman in Jesus' day. Jesus was busy. In fact, he was on the way for a girl who was about to die. Pretty big stuff. And we read, in Luke eight forty one, it said, Now there was a man named Jairus, a ruler of the synagogue, an important guy. And he came and fell at Jesus' feet, pleading with him to come to his house because his only daughter, a girl about 12, was dying. This is a big deal. Very important. Now, as Jesus was on his way, the crowds almost crushed him. It says, and a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years, and no one could heal her. And she came up behind him and touched the edge of his coat because she had said to herself, If I can simply touch his cloak, I will be healed. And immediately her bleeding stopped. Who touched me? Jesus asked. And when they had all denied it, Peter said, Master, the people are crowding around and pressing against you. But Jesus said, someone touched me. I know the power went out from me. Then the woman, seeing that she could no longer go unnoticed, came trembling and fell at his feet. In the presence of all the people, she told why she had touched him and how she had been instantly healed. And then he said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Now, the thing is, she was already healed. She had snuck up, thinking she was unnoticed. He's busy. He's on the way to take care of a dead girl. But if I could just touch his garment, I would probably be healed. And yet Jesus stops everything that's going on and goes, someone touched me. The disciples go, what are you talking about? There's so many people here. Everybody's touching you. They're about to crush you. There's so many. What do you mean, who touched me? But he wanted to turn around and look this woman eye to eye and go, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Know that you didn't sneak up, that I knew that you're important, that you are valuable. I want to look you in the eye and tell you your faith has healed you. So many times it's easy for us to go, I don't want to bother God with my little stuff. But he's a loving father, and he's interested in your little stuff. He said we don't receive because we don't ask. I think we should ask. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I know that you are concerned with even the little things in our life, the number of the hair on our head. You said you don't even see a sparrow fall to the ground that you're unaware. You wanted to look this woman eye to eye. And tell her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Lord, I know that our little concerns are not little to you because we are your children. In the same way that the little concerns of my children are not small to me. So Lord, we ask that you would help us to gain that understanding. That we would not walk in lack or in want or in need because we haven't asked our Heavenly Father. Lord, I thank you that you have demonstrated time and time again how deeply you love us. And in the middle of an immense universe, a crowded planet, busy, important situations, 
you still care for even the smallest need of your child. That was that knowledge, as Paul, as uh, David said, is almost too wonderful, almost overwhelming. And yet, it is how you have described yourself. So, Lord, we just ask that as we commit our lives, our day, even our anxious thoughts to you, that, Father, you will lead and guide us through the work of your Holy Spirit. And we thank you for that incredible gift in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, guys, nothing is too small. In fact, he asks us to, in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present our request to God, and he will give us the peace that transcends understanding. Do it and live in the fullness of his presence. And I'll see you tomorrow.